Hey guys, Dean here from Big Dog Builds. We've got Ram Rig here, brand new 3500 from Ram Trucks Australia. We're in for stage one at Big Dog Builds. This one's um, getting collected tomorrow morning, doing a couple weeks driving around, letting everything settle in before it goes down to off-road creative for the canopy on the back. It's then going off to slick as to get the PPF done. The unique thing with this one, we are going satin PPF over the white, which I haven't done on a Ram before. Looking forward to seeing how this combination pans out. On that note, we've gone and done a full chrome delete on this one. Only the front half, obviously, because we're getting rid of the tub and going to a canopy. Opting for the satin film from Slick As, the bush wraps film that is, we've gone and done the chrome delete to suit. We've already got the Cat6 indicators with the satin white um, finish on there. We've gone and installed um, the chrome delete on the front end. You can see the slightly different um, gloss levels to the paintwork top and bottom. So this one here, the girls will be able to wrap with the PPF. Because of the bar being on the front one here, so we've painted the satin white um, gloss level. So this one will match the satin PPF that gets installed on the bar as well as these gloss paint um, on the chrome delete. Good looking combo there. We've got the white ram um, painting behind the lights. And on the front end, as you can see, off-road creative ram bar, super popular option here. Uh, it's got the single hoop. It's got the camera relocation um, tabs. You got your laser lamps there being your big nine inch sentinels. These elite um, sentinels from laser lamps definitely pack a punch. We've gone and installed a 15,000 pound carbon scout winch in there as well. The LED lights being the steady inside the bar, the laser lamps on the hoop, as well as future roof rack LED lighting will all get switched through a Switch Pro, which is installed. This is from the comfort of your seat. Switch Pro, like I've said, you've got eight different channels there you can use for air on board, 12 volt lighting. Um, UHF, cell fire, whatever you're wanting to power it through, you can run through that Switch Pro unit. Um, for now, like we said, because this one is getting a canopy and because it is getting the satin film, changing the gloss level of the white, we haven't installed our roof rack yet, but we will be doing so as the final step. The suspension wheel and tire combo we've gone for this build, we've gone for the 3.25 inch Carly pin top suspension system. Great looking combination on this Ram 3500 platform. This one has got all the fruit added to it. So we've got high mount, low mount steering stabilizers, which is gonna make the feedback through the steering wheel a lot better. Those potholes aren't gonna throw that steering wheel out of your hand and really make it uncomfortable while driving, as well as the torsion sway bar from Carly. Definitely a lot softer than the harsh factory riding sway bar that these Rams come with. And then being the 3.25 inch kit, it's got the radius arm drops underneath there. The benefit while doing the radius arm drops is swapping out to the Carly radius arms. That's gonna allow the full cycle of the suspension, um, a lot better components in the radius arms with the added benefit of the weld on limit straps as well. So that shocky is not gonna overextend if you drop it into a hole. If you are forward driving and you've got that full flex going on, you're not gonna overextend and hurt that shock absorber. The bush is on top, the rubber on top, um, and the coil, the shock package from um, Carly with these Ram 3500 out of the box. We haven't had to do any additional valving for these models, only once the vehicle is super, super heavy. Being the 3500 Ram, as we've said, is the best platform for weight. Uh, we can GVM up the, upgrade these ones to 5.8 ton, and this is nationally heavy, national heavy vehicle registered now. Uh, we've got the bushwhacker flares on the front there covering the, the tires. So once the canopy goes on the back with the flares to suit, Having the, the, the tires being covered from the flares is obviously a must due to our ADRs. Um, and by doing that, still looks great, uh, performs well. We've got some mud flaps to throw in front of this one. And we've opted for the wheel and tire combo being the popular Method HD 305 NV matte black. So this is 18 by nine POS 18. And then the Yokohama Geolander XATs in the 35, 12 and a half, 18. Uh, the good loader rating out of these tyres, being an all-terrain, nice and quiet on the road, nice and strong, still a nice 35 inch tyre which is going to give you that extra ground clearance on top of the suspension install. And this combination, once that canopy goes on the back, the satin film from the girls at PPF, we've then got air on board to install, we've got a roof rack to go on the top, but I really wanted to show you a quick walk around now at what we can do when it comes to the chrome delete 
and really how we stage up the build. So getting it in with us, getting the suspension wheels and tires done, thinking of your chrome deletes as well as paint protection film. While the vehicle's brand new, obviously it's the time to do PPF so you don't get stone chips on there. As soon as you cover stone chips, you're gonna see that under the film. So getting on top of that straight away is definitely a, a must. And we can go through and do a full chrome delete before that stage gets done. So the door handles are color coded satin white, ready for the PPF. The mirrors have gone satin black. They are painted in two stages there. So good looking mirrors. They don't have the big chrome bit once you fold them up. Um, the benefit of painting these instead of doing a vinyl wrap is the longevity. The paint's gonna last a lot longer. It's obviously a lot thinner than the wrap is. I've seen vinyl wrap done on these ones and it lifts on the edges quite a lot. Having a painted finish definitely looks the best. Um, the quality of the paint that we use, uh, only the best in the business. And yeah, you really wanna get the, the most out of it. Painting chrome is a um, different technique needed. It's not just um, slapping a, a bit of paint on top of some plastic, really getting the um, balance right there and the formula for painting on top of chrome is a whole process. We've been doing this for years and years now, never had a, um, a bad experience. On top of the chrome delete, the best thing that you can do for your paint is obviously paint protection film. So a stone hitting your paintwork is gonna still chip it no matter what paint you've got on. Having that PPF over the whole vehicle, you've seen numerous videos with the pinstripes down the sides. Having the PPF is gonna allow that to sort of self heal. You can heat it up, get rid of those light scratch marks and protect your ride, make it look great for your lap around Australia. So if you've got a 3500 on order, you wanna go down and do that a little bit more than just the standard build, get in touch today. I look forward to doing a chrome delete, getting your whole build managed. Uh, we can get you in touch with a couple different canopy companies. This one getting off-road created is gonna look amazing. Um, and once it comes back, we'll be giving you another rundown around this vehicle. I look forward to showing you this one end of October. Thanks guys.